Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with uh, the Kerbal Space Program. Last time we uh, did some experiments with the Ion Engine, and I wanted to take that one step further, so I created the Derp Space One. Now this is a pretty large missile, but this is intended for uh, deep space exploration. So I have like an unmanned probe, as suggested by you guys at the top, lots of batteries, a lot of solar panels, and the probe actually consists of two separate, separate modules. So I got two probes, and one of them actually never tested uh, has a parachute, and I'm hoping to drop that off on uh, one of the other planets. And I have some scientific devices on it as well. So I have like thermometer, gravitational thingy, uh, uh, what else, pressure meter, and oh, that annoys me. Like this one thing I noticed in this game, there's a lot of clipping issues, which you could, you know, technically abuse, but um, uh, that feels sort of like cheating. So I try not to have stuff intersect with each other, even though it is actually possible within the game. Now, as you can see, the engines are, uh, yeah, somewhat clear. And these solar panels are actually not going to extend uh, until I separate the uh, module. Because the only way I can, yeah, stop the velocity and get it into the atmosphere of a neighboring planet is to fire the engine for a really, 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 really long time. So, uh, as you can see, I have a f landing feat. I'm going to, yeah, sort of attempt to, um, probably not going to work actually, but uh, to get it up, to standing upright, but uh, we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Um, so it's the Derp Space 1. Uh, I had one question for you guys though. Um, I like It's been suggested in the comments, but I was already checking it myself. It is possible to um, activate a lot of different stuff at the same time. For instance, I can toggle all these solar panels, but the, uh, to me, there's not really an efficient way to select them all. And I'm, I'm afraid that if I start selecting solar panels, then I'm just gonna uh, forget to select a couple, something stupid like that. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, like the holding shift doesn't work, holding control, but I'm probably missing something. So if you guys know what there, if there's like an efficient way to do that, please uh, let me know in the comments. Now, yeah, let's see if this thing actually flies. It's a bit of lag, and I can imagine because this thing has a lot of components, like especially at the top. The, the bottom part, not so much, but all the solar panels and stuff. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too laggy. So let's prepare. The engine seems to already be full throttle. Um, let's bring up the map. Let's activate the SAS. <laughs> the stability avoidance system and hopefully this will work out. Ooh, it's gonna be laggy. Really laggy. I'm hoping like once we start losing parts it's not gonna be too bad. It's a bit wonky it seems. Sort of resonating. I cannot shut down the engines. Um, I'm afraid this thing is gonna go fall apart. Oh my god! Yeah, it's not gonna. It's gonna explode. I'm gonna get rid of them actually. Straight down. No. <laughs> oh. There's not much left. <laughs> it is really laggy. Um, I have the feeling that uh, I should probably make some adjustments in the settings. Like not have shadows and stuff. 
that's hopefully gonna increase the performance. It's less laggy now, now that I've got less parts to worry about. Let's see how this is gonna end up. an unmanned craft these things happen uh, I need struts and I have to lower my settings so let me just do that okay so I drastically lowered the settings they are now on fastest and I can like already feel the uh, improvement I added a whole bunch of struts to uh, increase the structural integrity and like the reason it's lagging is that this thing like the probe part is like 250 parts something like that but i'm hoping this is going to be better so let's get rid of all the debris on the launch pad and let's try again hopefully with less lag and we are back we are not in orbit uh, just yet but as you can see the lag has been drastically reduced and that's probably mostly due to the fact that we are outside the atmosphere but there's some weird stuff going on as you can see my altitude is i have no idea what my altitude is so something's derped which makes sense because this is called uh, the derp space one <laughs> Um, now, this is something I've not experimented with, but apparently you can sort of calculate maneuvers. And I've been doing it manually so far, and it's been going just fine. And But let's just try it. I think I... Okay, let's see. So we get one... No. No, 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 no. I get 25 seconds to prepare for whatever it is I'm doing. Um, probably going to end up doing it manually anyway. Okay. Estimated burn in five seconds. Go to the blue marker, I think. Well, I didn't need a maneuver to figure that out, that I was supposed to go horizontal. <laughs> well. Genius. was pretty close and I guess we can, we can remove that yep so we are in a orbit not a very steady orbit uh, but according to you guys the atmosphere ends at 69,000 kilometers so in terms of atmospheric drag I should be fine which means that the best thing to do is just go around one loop and then uh, go into a more steady orbit. And let's zoom out for a moment, because I have not really shown you guys yet. But we are here. And here's the star. The, the star has no name. But here are a variety of different planets. And I want to send the... Uh, yeah, the derp, the derp space one. Probably want to send that to uh, yeah, one of these planets. I'm gonna go to Eve because that reminds me of Eve Online, the good old days. Um, but yeah, before we do that, we are now drifting out of control. Let's try and get a. Uh, steady orbit before we do anything crazy. 
pretty easy. So let's go in a nice little circle. And I still have a lot of fuel, so I can possibly give myself a boost with the remaining fuel. I mean, this is a one, this is a, a no return trip anyway, so. As you can see, here's the Q Apollo 2, still in orbit with Jebediah. One and a half minutes. Okay. Oh, you are slow. I guess that's why they uh, add reaction control boosters. I don't have any of those though. So my turning is incredibly slow. I'm actually sort of curious what it, uh, what's causing me to turn now, because there's no thrust, there's no anything. So unless I have like a gyroscope spinning out of control, I'm not really sure how they manage to change the direction of the ship. It's funny though, like I set all the settings to low, and I still think that this looks pretty good. I mean, it's less shadows and stuff, but... There is still shadows, even though they're less subtle. Um, probably missed my point of boosting, but we are just going to do it manually. I, I know you guys don't like it, but... Oh. Whoa. Okay. Are we steady? No. Let's just fly on the map. Um, so I'm going to try and get the 115. Oh, we are actually almost there. It's no problem. Even though I forgot to activate my engine. Go. That's close enough. So we have a total of almost 22k sorry, xenon gas. <laughs> that sounds so silly. Uh, we have batteries, so lots of electrical charge, although we did use some. And liquid fuel, lots of oxidizer, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, now, what I want to do... I have yet to figure out how we are going to get to that planet. Like, this is, so far, this is how, how far I've planned ahead. I'm in orbit. I am, what I'm gonna do first now is I am going to extend all the solar panels because I am really curious and I hope you guys are curious as well what that's gonna look like. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. So be right back. Okay, so I'm not sure if I got all of them now, but I think this is it except the ones at the top which are the ones that are on the uh, probe. And I can sort of see the lag already. And I think that's due to the fact that all these solar panels are trying to keep track of the, uh, of the sun. So they are constantly calculating the angle and then trying to adjust, which is causing me lots of lag. <laughs> So that's uh, something I have to bear in mind if I ever decide to do this again, is to minimize the parts to at least try and minimize the lag. Okay, well, in the solar panel map, I've uh, set Eve, the planet Eve, as a, as a target, and that's giving me a crosser 
on the uh, on the globe. So yeah, I'm just gonna, even though it is really laggy for me at the moment, gonna attempt to um, yeah to like waste the remaining liquid fuel I have, and then we'll continue with the uh, ion boosters. Okay, so I am now trying, attempting, I'm just going to waste all the fuel I have, then we're going to rotate the, uh, the derp space 180 degrees and uh, see if the ion cannons have enough oomph. They probably do, but uh, it's, it's going to be very time consuming, that's what I'm, I'm expecting. So just a little update. I mean, this is going to be this is going to be long for me to record, but I'm not going to record everything. I'm just going to sort of uh, record whenever I make any progress. So be right back. So I was just checking the map, and it turns out uh, I really didn't think this through. <laughs> I'm just sort of blindly boosting towards the uh, target. But that's completely the wrong approach. Because as you can see, I'm actually gonna go in a nice little circle and then I'm gonna crash and burn in the atmosphere. So that's not very comforting. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll work something out. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, well, we ran out of fuel now, so I have to ditch the. Uh, the remaining rockets and have to sort of check and see what my force vector is because I might just knock off a whole bunch of my uh, solar panels if I ditch it now well, there's actually another target marker there Okay, well, hopefully this is not going to break all of my stuff. I should probably retract the solar panels, but let's try it out. Oh, they work just fine. So that's a lot of excess waste loss now. That means we are going to rotate the craft. Not too far. <laughs> oh man, this thing is just we <laughs> completely span. Um, I'm just gonna try and get into a steady orbit again. That's like the only thing I can do now. Let's try that. Such this 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 so far this is, has been a disaster. I'm on the opposite side of the planet. No electric charge, and I'm I'm actually I boosted I'm not I, I know this pretty quickly, but I'm actually boosting the wrong direction, uh, simply due to the fact that the engines I'm using is on the complete opposite side. So I actually have to go here. Let's try it again. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we are so gonna crash and die. <laughs> Let's go like this. <laughs> and the solar panels are not getting any light whatsoever. <laughs> Six minutes. Okay, I'm hoping that's enough to, uh, to get back into orbit. But the thing is, as you can see, no electrical charge. So we have to wait a bit until we uh, we go back. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know what's going to happen next. <laughs> it gets even worse. Seeing as I have no electric charge, um, I can't send any orders to the uh, 
<laughs> to the probe. Um, so this thing is now just drifting out of control. I can't even turn on the stability thingy, I turn it off, change my orientation, anything like that. So and I, I, another thing I cannot do is I cannot speed up time either because it's still full throttle and I cannot lower the throttle for some reason. <laughs> Fantastic. It's just completely spinning out of control now. <laughs> The thing that puzzles me though is that I have no idea how what my altitude is. Or oh, maybe on the on the map. Okay, 388. I should be coming back into uh, from behind the planet. So, but this thing is just spinning like crazy. Okay, we have sunlight again, which means I can hit the brake. And try and make it stop spinning like crazy. Oh my god. Stop that. Stability. Okay, we stopped spinning. <laughs> Let's see if we can boost ourselves out of this situation. Should be able to full throttle. I'm not sure though, but. Wondering what's that going to do to our electric charge? You can see the engines running, but oh my god, the lag! <laughs> now we got plenty. I should possibly just retract some of these solar panels. Hopefully, make it a bit less laggy. Let me do that. Let's see how many panels I actually need. I'm actually activating the uh, the fifth engine as well. Just manually. Okay, so I've actually gotten to the point. I, I didn't retract too many. I think I retracted like six panels. And as you can see, we're lo losing electric charge now. So I'm probably going to extend two of these again. And that's going to keep it stable, I hope. But I'm afraid we are going to crash and burn. As you can see, the trajectory is still gonna land us in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> the way it is now. As you can see, our altitude is dropping quite drastically, and our velocity is not increasing that much. So... Let's just sort of assume it's going to take 31 minutes for us to get back there. So roughly, in roughly 10 minutes, we are going to crash and burn. <laughs> Might make it, I'm not sure. You can see the line slowly moving, but don't think it's going to be enough. Okay, so we are establishing an orbit now. As you can see, even though it's a bit laggy, the... Uh, Orbit is increasing. And, uh, 10 minutes until we get there, so we might probably, we should probably make it, I think. But we have to think it through the <laughs> a bit better though. But um, oh, we are losing electric charge now. Okay, that's something to worry about again. Uh, I'll keep you guys in touch. Our altitude is plummeting. <laughs> Like really, really going down. And as soon as we get within the 70,000 meter mark, it's GG. And as you can see, it's sort of a race against the clock. This has to get above, uh, above 70 kilometers before we go below 70 kilometers. It's, it's not looking too bright, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. It's going to be an incredibly close call. We are at 100,000 kilometers now and the uh, yeah, height here is at 51. <laughs> so I'm not I'm like uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. 
three minutes, I think we're gonna die. If I had to place a bet, this thing is gonna crash and burn, but I like being proven wrong, so in this case. <laughs> oh, the uh, dramatic background music has stopped, and as you can see, the altitude meter is slowly moving towards the atmosphere. <laughs> Uh, we are not going to make it. No, definitely not. Dang it. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, we are about to enter the atmosphere, and it's extremely laggy. But I'm expecting the lag to change pretty soon, seeing as all my solar panels are still extended. <laughs> and I don't think you're supposed to re-enter with your solar panels extended. But seeing as this is uh, sort of a lost cause anyway, I might just go down in style. So I'm going to stop trusting. Forget about it. Mm, it's, it's, I feel like it's so close though to us not burning and dying because we are going extremely fast. We are going really, really fast. And it seems to be sort of stuck, like the, uh, if I'm just looking at the altitude. Let's just check the map. Are you telling me we are actually already in the atmosphere? Really? Are we going to survive this? Are you saying we are going to survive this? We're just skimping through the atmosphere like it's nothing. Yeah, we are gaining altitude again. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Well, in that case... In that case, uh, all should be good, I guess. <laughs> oh, that is so silly. Okay, well, disaster averted, I guess, and we still have tons of xenon gas, so we should be able to uh, to get into a more stable orbit the next time we do a round. So let me. Oh, I can hear the music again. I'll be right back.